All right, previous action items. Uh, well, the first one was to, to check out the mobile optimized uh, website. And um, so who has not done that? Yeah, I should have confessed in the other meeting that, well, whatever. Yes. We don't want to shame anyone, but uh, there is one more chance. I, so uh, we, it took a little bit guilty. longer with the mobile view uh, of the farm. And the ask a question flow is going to uh, land tomorrow. So you still have, we will take one more week to test this before we roll this out. So you still have a chance. Well, uh, so how about everyone who didn't do it uh, does it today? By end of the day today, I mean, is that possible? But you is said that possible everything you, except Madalena? ask you're question, actually, right, Kadir? And Madalena, you're yeah, going to do it friend. tomorrow morning. So, but, but, I, but I'm, so to have it done today or before people wake up tomorrow in the US? <laughs> Every, so, so sorry, Kadir, everything okay. except ask a question is implemented on all the zone. Yes, everything except that. That should actually have landed already on Friday. Rian is on a PTO today, so we can't ask him. But uh, everything else is ready, landed, and can be tested and should be tested. And if you, if you find anything, please report on the etherpad. If you don't know what to test, you can look at the top of the etherpad and you will see the flows that we are looking for. And just do any one of them. Uh, that will be helpful already. Okay. And we can test so, on production, right? Uh, yes, if you are logged in, you can test this on production. Yeah. Oh. So everyone on the team should be in the beta testers group. Anyone who is in that group will see the new design. Uh, I think everyone here on the team is in that group. Okay. Yep. So oh, today. Production. Okay. Uh, that's Matt, Roland, and Madalena. Thanks, everybody. Okay. Looking forward to your feedback, yeah. And is there a reason why we have to postpone for a, for a full more week? If we get the feedback from all champions today, uh, is it possible to f speed that thing up? We can speed it up, but basically because it has taken longer to land this, uh, we want to give it a little bit more time because once it completely lands, I will uh, post this on the forums and get feedback from our contributors too. I'm holding back on that until we have landed all the parts because otherwise there will be confusion. Last time we did this, there was a lot of confusion about what has landed, what hasn't landed, uh, what parts are missing. Okay. So um, went to, this time I want to be do that when we when we are finished. Hot topics, Kadir, is that landing? When is that landing? Like things No, like that's that. not landed yet. Uh, yeah, so that is not landed yet. Uh, Rehan is been com coming back tomorrow. It's one of so, the items that is on the Etherpad. I Actually, I think I even wrote that up. Okay. So then we are getting clarity on that. So this week, uh, as I said last time, um, actually, I guess we are more or less already in the uh, uh, Firefox uh, development discussion. <laughs> yeah, so go ahead, like that. please. Uh, so yeah, uh, last week I said that uh, we will spare some time this week to catch those issues. Uh, so this week we'll be devoted to actually fix those issues, uh, part of this sprint. Uh, so there is nothing else planned in the mobile implementation. Uh, so Rehan has the whole time to actually implement uh, all the or fix all the issues that we come up with now. So that's that's why it's so important that we actually come up with those issues so they can actually fix them. Mm -hmm. Okay, is that all updates from development? Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, the rest is basically we are in this twenty uh, third sprint. Um, uh, everything uh, that we are doing or most of the things that we're doing are listed here. Uh, and we are on track. Uh, you can follow along uh, if you click on the link. Uh, and other than that, yeah, everything is on track for now. <laughs> uh, and, oh, Jesus Christ. I think I just realized that I've been editing the wrong wiki page because it's linked to, oh, I see, okay. So the, the, the wiki page says, December 3rd, but it links to November 26th still. Uh, so I've actually sorry. been erasing a lot of <laughs> I think I've, I've messed up with the... Uh, that was probably me who messed up the wiki page. Darn. Yeah, that's sorry. fine. But maybe, so before we start to roll back that page, can I just make a copy and paste of yes. everything here and just create a new one? Uh, uh, please don't, because I edited, uh, so there is already a new page in either pad um, you know what i can okay. just make my edits yes there is no a, no that's fine it just added worry. to the I'll new just pad. 
I'll fix the wiki. I, I will just make a copy and then you can just paste that in. I love when these things happen. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, so let's just use the new one without copy and pasting. Decisions. Wait, decisions, you're, you're not decisions. pasting right. in now? I mean, you can paste if you made a copy. I was just, I no, just I was just pasting in the decision the, the, at the bottom, so. Okay, all right. So it's safe. You can continue to edit uh, the new one, and I will close the other one to not make the same mistake again. All right, so uh, any all UX right. update? Yeah, so I assume because this wasn't here before uh, that uh, Bram hasn't seen it, actually. Uh, otherwise, I'm sure he would have updated uh, the UX part. But I can tell you, so what we've been working on last week uh, was mostly updates on uh, parts of, of the uh, things that we are currently implementing, mostly L10N uh, tools related, and some of the mobile designs also get, get updates. That's what is basically uh, smaller fixes and issues. Um, I, mentioned, I think I mentioned that last week, but he's also working on the uh, multiple product support uh, visual interface. So if you are interested in that, if you want to give any feedback on that, I'm pretty sure he would be uh, happy about taking feedback on that as well. Uh, so that's moving along, and we will implement that with the next sprint. So if you have feedback on that, be quick. How quick? Is there a deadline? Well, the sooner the better, because uh, I mean, if there is an issue, we will of course even take it afterwards. Uh, we we don't want to keep going with bugs or issues, but if you do that now, then we can take care of that before it is implemented, and we will start implementation next sprint. So yeah, the sooner the better. Kadir, can you uh, link the the bugs with the mockups or whatever oh, yes. so that I can post those in the blog post? Uh, absolutely. And by the way, I just saw that Ricardo joined us, and uh, I love the fact that you ch changed your haircut every month. So now you have this is the flavor of the month, and it looks great. <laughs> I, I try to do it every week, but uh, yeah, it's a little bit too much. But uh, but yeah, this is the new one. It's awesome. Cool. Yeah, the fringe is beautiful. It is gorgeous. <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous. All right. Um, okay, so any questions about development or UX? I, I just wanted to mention that last week we got, um, so we had our MySQL databases updated and and the new, uh, and they were also tuned for performance. So, so the database, um, all the graphs that we monitor are, show that our performance improved and um, like last week, we got all of our con all of our media stuff, like images, videos, CSS, JavaScript. Everything was put on a, a new, brand new CDN, uh, Akamai, and before it wasn't even on the CDN. So, except for the videos, um, they were on the CDN, but the rest wasn't. So now, cool. I have CDN, so our site should be much faster um, to load. So it should be faster now, Mister. I, I Especially for us in Europe, fast, actually. Yeah, yeah that, that was going to be my question. So is mostly Europe is seeing those improvements of uh, the performance improvements? Or is it other places too? Yeah. Uh, the I whole mean, globe except for yeah. the US? Yeah, the farther you get from Phoenix, the, I guess, the... The, the more you yeah. notice the difference, okay. Yeah. So basically what is happening with the CDN for those uh, who are not into that lingo, uh, it means that the media that we have on our servers is being cached around the globe by um, this company, Ak Akmai, which has servers in, in lots of different countries. So you get served mm -hmm. those media files directly from your own country, from a server that is very close to you, instead of from the server that is in Phoenix um, or in San Jose uh, in the US, on the U.S. West Coast. And that means, especially for bigger files, and especially if your connection is slow, uh, especially the connection to the U.S., uh, which is true for maybe not so much for Europe, but for uh, Southeast Asia, for South America, that means a big that makes a big difference actually. So we might not the the people on this team might not necessarily see it uh, immediately, but a lot of people will experience that. I can tell you, I so just we're spreading the MySQL love from the U.S. to the entire globe. It's it's uh, it's amazing when you think of it. 
So Michael. one one place I just noticed it because this was always a slow point is if you take a an old article and look at the uh, helpfulness graph, mm -hmm. right on a on a like article that has existed since at least since Kitsune, um, and you click show the graph. It might take ten fifteen seconds or more to show the graph. Now it shows the graph, just like that. Pretty nice. Yeah, that's not the CDN though. That's uh, but yes, that's uh, the other thing that the Ricky mentioned. Sequel. That's uh, yeah. moving to new exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So that's also the, yeah. Cool. This is a substantial difference for sure. That's awesome. Those are terrific news indeed. Okay, so thanks for that update, Ricky. Uh, <laughs> any questions? All right, then next up is Roundtable. What do we want to talk about? What the hell? <laughs> we are also recorded, so good. come on, guys. Do you this is usually for contributors. This is usually for contributors, but it seems like this yeah. time. It's... Okay, so. Um, then let's move right along then. Uh, Firefox Desktop. All right. Um, 1701 was pushed on Friday, and it fixes a lot of um, issues that we've been seeing. Uh, one thing that we're starting to see is the blurry font issue in Windows is still coming in, so it looks like we didn't get all of the use cases maybe to uh, create that issue. Um, Tyler and, and I will be working diligently this week to gather all of the information to get that to QA and to engineering. And, Hopefully we can uh, mitigate that. Um, at this point, we, we don't know um, any ETAs or anything on that, but um, stay tuned for more information. We will not tune out. Thanks for the update. Mm -hmm. uh, any questions? OK, uh, Firefox Android and Firefox OS is, are both empty. Do you, uh, Roland, do you have anything? Uh, I, we didn't find anything on input, and I don't see anything in the forums. Uh, Right, Tyler, about input? Yep, Firefox for Android is still running smooth. Um, Seems to be helming along. Um, we got lots of work to do for 18, I think. We being me and the, the volunteers. The one thing with um, mobile is if you do have an RV6 device um, and haven't All put right. Firefox for Android on there, and it's got at least a 800 megahertz processor and a 512 um, megabytes of RAM, right. put it on there, make sure it runs fine. Um, we're seeing reports of issues with the Samsung and Meyer, so if anyone has one of those and wants to play with Firefox for Android, we'd appreciate it. Samsung, which one was it, was it again? The Admire. All right. Okay. Um, Thunderbird. Thunderbird. Um. As part of the next sprint, I'm and the multi-plat product support, we're going to move Thunderbird knowledge base, knowledge base only. Um, and we have an Etherpad, and we have a tracker bug, and we will discuss this at the KB meeting on Thursday as well, if there's questions at that time as well. All right. Metrics. Yeah, as part of that, I uh, wanted to give you a quick update on, on the migration. Uh, so I want to share, uh, we want to make sure that the Thunderbird migration doesn't affect any other parts. Oh, uh, it one, won't. Part that it, one part uh, that, we, uh, that, that it will affect, though, but by design, is the KPI dashboard, because we are tracking everything that is going on on our site. Uh, once we actually uh, migrate the Thunderbird articles, it is part of uh, the Sumo experience. That means that we are also tracking everything on this because KPI is the highest level that we have. We are also going to see the impact of that on our KPI dashboard. How exactly that will look like, I'm not exactly sure yet. Uh, we already have um, uh, the designs for uh, going, uh, segmenting the KPI dashboard in the sense that it is broken down into metrics dashboard per product. Uh, so we will be able to uh, drill down on that, but that is further out. So for the time being, uh, we will be uh, show we will be showing the KPI dashboard that is everything. Um, yeah, but we wanted to segment this anyway to be able to see how is our uh, uh, localization coverage for Firefox OS articles, 
How's yeah, our we need a Firefox coverage for mobile articles. So we want exactly, yeah. we want to have this eventually anyway. So this will come, but uh, for for a little while we will have to live with everything on one page, as we have been so far. <laughs> um, the the other thing is that I uh, for for metrics is uh, for some reason for the last uh, week we have been seeing. Um, uh, Ethernet coverage at 81% and it's super flat, which is very unusual. Uh, so it might be that just people are currently not working on the site or they are exactly they are localizing exactly at the same right. We are updating pages. Uh, I don't know exactly why that is. I will look into that. When so that is last update from pages? So I, it could be that also there haven't, as far as I know, I don't think there's been any new things really marked ready for localization in a while. I, I'm pretty far right. behind on reviewing things because we've been, I've been gone, but that's on the list for this week, so it'll probably change. We'll see. If it changes, it should change this week. Yeah, but even if you don't uh, mark anything as ready for localization, we should still see uh, localizers work on articles and the alternate coverage go up, should go up in, in that case. Uh, so it it's very it's flat. That's very weird. Uh, so I will look into that, making sure that we are actually covering what we are thinking that we are covering. I think we do, but uh, just to be sure, I will look into that. It's one to do for me for next week. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Uh, any other any questions or any comments on the the KPIs or the metrics? All right, um, finding my way back to the agenda. Community updates. Yes, that's me. So a uh, quick update on the Army of Awesome. Uh, there were reports of some accounts getting blocked by Twitter, so not all of them, but some people had problem. Problems because they were super active and Twitter just thought that they were way too active. Uh, so if anybody has this kind of problem, can you please let me know? Because I'm trying to, to figure out a way with Twitter to not do that anymore and to get the, uh, those accounts unblocked. And also at the same time, if you could just uh, contact Twitter support and email me back with their reply so we can work this way, you know, like in two ways. Uh, so I hope that we, we can get everything uh, solved soon. Yeah, and, and just so you know, and I'm, I'm sure you know, but, but I guess for everyone else too, uh, this has happened before. And mm -hmm. so I was once contacting Twitter support, trying to you know, understand if there was anything we can do you know, kind of technically to make this app kind of whitelisted or something like that. But mm -hmm. That wasn't possible then. It might be, you know, their policy might change. But but just so you know that you know we've tried it before unsuccessfully. Uh, yeah. They would they should be able to re kind of restore the the kind of the accounts in question though. That should be possible. But I yeah. think uh, yeah, it seems hard for us to to get to convince them to whitelist this thing. Well, actually, yeah, the I'm issue not... that sorry, the go issue ahead. we had was that this the issue we had is that it's. It's not something that they can whitelist because whitelist because people are actually um, marking things as spam. Uh, so that's when when they when the accounts get deleted. So they, they need to be marked as spam, and the account has to have certain markers on them, uh, like posting a lot uh, to people that they are not friends with and stuff like that. Uh, and then it get automatically it gets uh, the account gets flagged. Um, so there, there is also some manual intervention from from users who feel that those tweets are not necessarily what what they would like to see. Uh, that's one of the reasons why they can't just whitelist uh, everything coming from okay. manual. Yeah, so but they, yeah, they told us basically if we tell them about these those accounts, uh, not we, but if those account holders just um, those are automatic uh, flags, and then they're automatically flagged for spam. Once they go to support and ask for the account to be reinstated, uh, usually there is no issue and the account comes back. This has happened before and the account was um, brought back again by Twitter, yeah. by their support. Okay. Yeah. So okay. keep us posted, Madalena. I, I thought you might want to say something. Yeah, I mean, I was just want to comment if we 
if this is the case, can we think about a different way of uh, providing support on Army of Boston? Uh, I'm thinking about centralizing everything through one account. So we have the Firefox help account that it's closer to what other other companies do. It loses a little bit of the community feeling. But in the other hand, it will it will solve this problem, and and we can we can work the recognition factor some in a, in a different way. Yeah. I don't know. Just I, I'm throwing it out there. I I would say um, yeah, that's like. A good question but I would say before we we do that I would like to actually analyze the impact that this has okay and see like exactly how many accounts have this problem because there are not so many yet uh, and yeah, also see how a... yeah see how how fast these things can be solved okay. um, so yeah and then then we'll see we'll see Okay. Yeah, if it's not a huge problem, then I wouldn't. I, I I think that there is a lot of value in showing that there are a lot of different people helping with support. So if yeah. it's an isolated small problem, then I wouldn't change the way we do support. Um, but we talked before about potentially doing both. Like, okay. what if it would possible to get certain people who who we uh, you know who are kicking ass at, uh, on Army of Awesome to kind of um, give them the privilege to post under the the Firefox mm -hmm. account possible i mean that would be cool but there are also on that you know battle before madalina so madalina is the go-to person she's on top okay cool um so agenda agenda <laughs> um localization do you well, we talked about localization before rosanna is a video today do you have anything madalina do you want to add any updates or Michael? Nothing, nope. nothing it. important. All right, knowledge base. Um, just this is from last week I put together. These are the user facing changes in 18 for desktop. Um, not all of them will probably find their way into an article like high DPI support for Mac probably doesn't even need an article. But anyway, um, that's on my list uh, this week is putting together what stuff needs to be changed for Firefox 18. If you think of anything else, please let me know. So high DPI, is that is that the retina? Sport? Yeah, the retina display. Huh. I didn't even realize that we don't have that in the public. Because I've, I've been, I've been using Nightly all the time, so I don't... Oh, actually, I'm using Aurora, sorry. So I've been having it for a long time. But do you have a retina? You don't have, do you have a retina display? I have a retina display. Oh, you got another? <laughs> no, 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 no. This is, this is the new computer that I got. Oh. This is the one that I've been cursing about for a very long time. You were the one. No, the one that you had. So at the, David, at the... now it's public. Now everyone if... knows. Yeah, if I could turn, yeah. So I mean, now it's official. I switched to Mac, but but I'm still hating it, uh, and I'm having all sorts of issues. Ebay and I were having a short meeting before this, um, you know, before before our meetings, and and uh, it was it was terrible. <laughs> I was apparently turning into kind of a an American rapper. I was, yeah. you know, repeat. There was this loop from my my headset or whatever that was apparently very hilarious. It was really funny. But yeah, so I'm so I have a Retina screen, and uh, it's kind of funky actually. When you swipe, when you kind of swipe the, when you drag the window from one screen to the other, mm -hmm. you know Firefox t takes a split second and it kind of reshapes, and it looks kind of weird. And I don't see that behavior in any other app, so I don't know if that's a bug uh, or if it's just expected behavior. Cool. But it is kind of weird. Anyway. Uh, so next up is support forum. Support forum. Yay! Uh, the sumo day is back. We're back. We're going to have a new sumo day in this Thursday on the sixth of December. So we're going to try to answer all the questions in coming out of support forum. Everybody join in. It's a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. So let's do it. And 
one small, very tiny, tiny, small request. If you see any questions so related to social API, if you could report them back, uh, because we need to monitor them. That would be awesome. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And also, don't forget to check in every once in a while and answer some question, even if it's not a support day. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, spend five minutes every day. Just uh, answer a few questions and learn some more about what our users are telling us. This is how you stay in touch with our user base. Uh, and it also helps users. So it's a win-win. But the support day is when you really, really, you know, you, you, there's no excuse. You have to be there. And we're all doing it together at the same time, having a good time. You know, that's the added value of the support day, sumo day, sorry. Okay, so that wraps up the meeting. So the, there are two action items. One is um, that Matt Roland and Madalina will test their respective area of the new mobile optimized uh, support site and check, uh, you know, check for, look for errors and report back to the etherpad that is also linked there. Uh, the second thing is Kadir will continue to look at the, uh, he will look in, into the Elton and coverage and figure out why it's completely flat uh, to see if there's any activities that we're missing. Mm -hmm. um, and that's it. That is really it. This was a 30 minute meeting. I what? think we're, we're getting good at this. What? <laughs> It's pretty consistent. It's been 30 minutes for quite a while now. <laughs> it, is, it, is, it is a great thing. So that means that we have more time to do stuff. So let's, uh, let's go awesome. ahead and do stuff. All right, see you guys online. Bye. Bye. Take care, everyone. Bye.